These are the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And I will tell you who they really are. And that together with the beast with the seven heads, it's all related to that place in the Alps. What John tried to warn us for in his revelations from the Bible. Now watch this guy here. This is the first one on the white horse with the crown here. And it's the second one with the big sword. And it's the third one with the scales here. And this one is death. And uh, remember the skull and bones, the symbol of death, the Freemasons. I'll come back to that later. And here you can see the sun god, the pharaoh, on the, on the white horse, the first one, the first seal. Of whom the guys with the, with the crown, the kings and queens, the aristocracy came from. And who became finally Freemasonry. So this country from the Alps, we never hear from because they keep a low profile. Behind their clean and innocent neutrality swindle, the richest country in the world, the most expensive, where all the gold and other fortunes lie, and yet, miraculously, never gets involved in any war. Not the Second World War, not the First World War. And not even the worst of all, the Thirty Year War from 1618 to 1648. And deception is the biggest weapon of evil. But this center of all evil finances all wars. And they have a fifth column of Swiss sleeper agents in all countries of the world, which I've already proven to you in my other films. John was right. And I've come to tell you more about it. I'm a humble man with long grey hair, walking on sandals, and no one knows who I really am, as I haven't had any ID since 1981, that's 33 years now, and I move like a thief in the night, not to be seen by the Swiss knights of terror and their lies. So here it says, white horse and a crown. So the first horse is a white one, as the Swiss cross is. And the crown was given to him, and he went out conquering and to conquer. Now who's having a crown here? Yes, the king is having a crown. So, the first horseman is the nobility, who came from the pharaohs. And finally became the last horseman called Death. Therefore portraying the skull of death of the masons, as in skull and bones, and pale is the, is the color of the bones, for a skeleton is not really white, neither the skin color of a corpse, because the horses themselves symbolize the body or organ, as in organization. And here it says, Virtus jung sit mors non separabit, which means, whom virtue unites, death will not separate. So this is a death cult, just like the fourth horseman. This is death, and they have all the power. As I told you before, <coughs> the pharaohs became the aristocracy, and the aristocracy, the old world order, the feudal old world order, and the aristocracy became the, um, the new world order through Freemasonry. And this is the fourth horseman, death. The last one, as it, is, uh, as it has been written. But it's not really the last one. Well, it says the fourth horse and the fourth rider, it's called Death. The Freemasons. And the color white is indeed Pharaoh's color of the aristocracy, as they can afford themselves to wear white, as they don't work and get their clothes dirty. And he went out conquering and to conquer, meaning that the fair aristocracy is all over everywhere and rule the entire world. Well, you can see those pharaohs all in white, see? Well, who else could afford himself or herself this? Yeah. Gets dirty, doesn't it? Well, that's why it's the white horse. That's the aristocracy. So here it says, a red horse. This is the second horse and was given a big sword. And it will take all the peace from the earth. So the second horse was red. 
the colour of our blood abundantly spilled over the earth. It was granted to take peace from the earth, and that man would slay one another, and a great sword was given to him. This is Octogon of the Templars, who also came out of the aristocracy, sort of being a union between the church and the nobility. I already explained it to you. And in 1291, two and a half months, months after the Crusades, their base was born out of the first two colours, white and red, leading to the biggest wars of all, mass slaughter and compulsory military service. That's why this horseman has the biggest sword of all, with the colour red. So and it even says, the Brotherhood of 1291, this is on a Swiss website. You know, they, they, they got loads of these things here, you know. And here it says Widerstand, it means resistance. So they're in a war, but they're not telling us, you know, they're smiling to the world, but at the same time, they're waging a war against us. And as we are a farmed race, it was meant for real masculinity to die out in the Horus Matrix. Followed up by professional armies of mostly them, having that easy task with their worldwide Templars Octagon police force to police humanity, where there's no more threat of masculinity to rise up. They've all died on the battlefields. This is why masculinity gets knocked out for even the slightest signs of resistance, or potential resistance even. Whereas this worldwide army are allowed to kill and murder worldwide. And especially in Octogon in the Alps, eugenics is widespread, where it's not even allowed to think differently. Then the third horseman on a black horse holding a pair of scales for business and to find the weight and consequent, consequent price of commodities, its value and current exchange rate. A quart of wheat for a denarius and three quarts of barley for a denarius. And do not damage the oil and the wine. These are the banks from Switzerland, founded by the previous horsemen of the Templars, through which even more control over humanity can be exerted, creating wars and famine where needed, and under the colour black as in the night, as the workings of financial crimes are the most invisible of all, and this instrument of control over mankind impossible to see and detect like a black horse running in the middle of the night. Just think of how the Swiss Bank of International Settlements from Basel stole all the savings of honest Americans in 1929 in order to finance the Nazis' war industry. It came smooth and invisible, striking hard in a black night. It says billions lost. Well, nothing was lost. It just ended up in somebody else's pocket. And the fourth horseman is called Death as the Mason's logo, together forming the wings of power coming out of the first horsemen of the aristocracy. So the pharaohs became the aristocracy who became the Freemasons and they are ruling the riders of the ap apocalypse are also showing the uh, wings of power where the second being their military wing, the Templars, the third knight, their financial wing, the Swiss banks and the four, fourth knight, their political wing, the Freemasons, and those lying politicians. As ruling is an extremely tiring job, the kings of the old world order decided finally to delegate ruling into the hands of the new world order of the Masons, also their bloodline, but still keeping power in their own hands. And this is where the Bilderbergers final control is situated. So far only four of the seven seals have been opened and there are indeed three more wings of control and consequent seals to be opened which I will open for you now.
and my name Sean is the Irish equivalent for the English name John. The fifth seal holds the wing of power called the media or mainstream to twist our heads with lies and false flags to divide and rule and play people out against each other and who never talk about Switzerland as a rule. The sixth seal holds the six horsemen called religion to play our minds and hearts or heads and feelings to make us turn the other cheek and make us pray only so we don't rise up and do it ourselves is severe blasphemy as we are the instruments of the divine and not the other way around and to play one religion out against another against another one leading to more death destruction chaos and slaughter and the seventh seal is science being the seventh horseman creating companies as Monsanto trying to destroy the creation for more total control by patent patenting nature through criminal copyright or the bees dying because of our own cell phones so Monsanto can take over with these Freemason hermaphrodite plants